Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Joel McDowell. Today we'll be doing a combo pour utilizing a hair dryer and a bag of water. I got the bag of water idea a couple weeks ago from watching Des designer Jimma 77's demonstration on it on her channel. You gotta check her out, she's awesome. It's a really good idea. It's, um, much more intricate design than uh, just a balloon. You'll like it. So here I'm getting my canvas ready with some Art Artist Love Black mixed two to one flow trawl to paint. Uh, about a two consistency as all the paints we're using today are. They're all Artist Love except for the gold metallic which is 24 karat gold by Art Deco. So I'm using purple, uh, iridescent purple pearl, uh, turquoise, kind of turquoise green I guess, a uh, raspberry pearl, and a transparent yellow. So got my canvas ready to go. Let's have some fun, see what happens. So I'm trying to put these rings of paint in uh, an asymmetrical pattern, as asymmetrical as possible, but I'm intending to pretty much fill up the entire canvas. I just don't want it to be too geometrical because it's kind of a floral pattern. We're going to speed it up here so we're not here all day. the it's semi-transparent I would say yellow followed with just a little bit of the uh, 24 karat gold to give it a little bit of shimmer when everything's said and done
right, so I'm about done applying my paint. I was going to tell you about how the bag is set up from designer Gemma 77. She just took a plastic bag, tie a knot at the end of it at the bottom in one corner, turn the bag inside out, fill it with water, and then seal it at the top with rubber band or tie it in a knot, whatever, clamp, and then dip it just like you do a balloon. Straight to the center, look at your pattern on the bottom of your bag first. Make sure you got it centered. Put the weight of the water, squish it into the paint, pull straight up, slowly, and you get a real nice pattern. Now, I tried to do a double dip with the poor results, as you'll see coming up here in a minute. So I ended up going back to wiping the bottom of the bag off every time after doing a dip because the double dip just was an ununiform result. So I was kind of concerned about all the negative space, the way these things are sitting there floating. So I got out the blow dryer and tried to do, decided to try to blow them out a little bit first. A little experimentation, never know what's going to happen. So I gave that a whirl and then commenced with the dipping. So if you got one that you don't really like the looks of, just break your paint out and do it over. Do your same color, same order, and just keep going until you like the looks of it. Okay, so here you can see zoomed in. It's a very intricate pattern. The colors mix really, really well, I think. Got just about the right amount of negative space. It's kind of cool. Um, at the end here, I will show you the varnished version. 